All right, I'm ready to finally take off. I have everything going on. I uh, double checked uh, my oil and stuff like that. I did get the oil changed before I took off. I just wanted to make sure a couple things seemed as if they were going great. Checked the fluids and stuff and uh, everything seems good. So hopefully it stays that way. And uh, I'm gonna take myself off to Denver, Colorado. Gotta put in Denver, Colorado. By the way, my camera and my phone is still a little foggy. Also, the front facing camera is still a little foggy too, and the face ID still don't work. Um, but my back cameras are starting to clear up a little bit. I was actually able to shoot uh, a couple Instagram pictures real quick with the camera, our Instagram stories and Snapchat stories. By the way, I'm uh, Snapchatting pretty much the entire trip, so if you guys want to, well, of course, time you see this, uh, I'd be done, but if you want, that's my uh, snap code right there to for Snapchat, and then, of course, Instagram, official Jeff Klein, just follow it, and you'll see all the stories and stuff, plus I'll, I'll post stories and stuff on there to uh, get people together and stuff like that, because... Yeah. Although right now, since I've been having like phone trouble and stuff like that, I, I was getting requests on this website called Couchsurfing, which I use Couchsurfing sometimes. I don't really sleep at anyone's house because I got this, but I do uh, go on Couchsurfing to try to find people to talk to and stuff. But because I've been or was having phone trouble and stuff like that, I wasn't able to get together with anybody or message anybody back so by the way if you messaged me on God surfing uh, sorry I just did not get back to you I've been uh, getting back to people really slowly on uh, this stuff because of phone trouble and also I've been trying to jump through a couple states um, of course pretty much Missouri I mean I stopped here I, I did come here you know what I mean but in St. Louis, I stopped in St. Louis, Missouri, but I think that's Missouri, I think, St. Louis, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm not going to be stopping in Kansas City, I'm pretty much just going straight flat uh, by that, uh, by Kansas City, and I was going to try to get together with somebody, but it doesn't seem like it's going to work out in Kansas City, so I'm just going to go straight past Kansas City and go straight to Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado, I have a friend that I'm going to get with, uh, do something with, whatever. I'm also going to go, go to Gold's Gym there. I am pretty much out of diesel right now. I'm searching for diesel. So I think I just found a BP uh, station. Hopefully they sell diesel at this location. They do. It came up on the map as they do, so hopefully that's the case because I really need these to right about now. Uh, Kansas City. Someone just uh, Snapchat me. But yeah, I'm way past Kansas City. Now it's just like hill, hills and hills and hills and land and land upon land. It's actually freaking awesome. Like, it's probably going to get boring uh, sooner or later, but like, I haven't seen this much. It's been more or less land but a lot of trees too with the land but now it's just like land for days like that's all you see it's freaking awesome now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start hitting like mountains and stuff especially when I hit Colorado that's where the Rocky Mountains are at which I'll be going through Rocky Mountains and that's probably where I'm gonna end up using the wood stove at Oh wow, the speed limit out here is 75 miles an hour too. That's freaking awesome. I mean, 
means I can crank this up, so I ain't gonna crank it up. Not too much. Slow and steady. I'm doing about 70 miles an hour. I just cruise control 70 all the way, pretty much, for the most part. Um, unless it rains. When it rains, one, I heard it's dangerous, I guess, to use cruise control when it rains. But two, this vehicle won't even let you use it use cruise control while when it's raining real bad because the uh, scent of this uh, sensor or whatever goes off on it. It goes, hey, by the way, cruise control off. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, it's always fun. But yeah, pretty much it's just straight out 500 and some miles to go, just straight on uh, 70. So pretty much taking 70 from the east coast to the darn west coast. I'm telling you. That's what it seems like. What in the world? Diesel. 8 cents. Legit. It says diesel 8 cents. On that cash sign. That's wrong. That gotta be wrong. Just saying. Diesel is not 8 cents. I'm just saying. Nah, I ain't believing that. <laughs> I just stopped for diesel. It's like, uh something but uh oh yeah where I stopped for diesel back there um uh, there that place is goofy their handle for diesel is black and their handle for normal gasoline is green it normally is like vice versa so like diesel is usually a green handle that tricked me out of freaking nowhere I almost put gas in the entire tank. That that would have sucked. Cause I heard like it can do damage to the diesel vehicle because it burns at a different rate or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really looked up too much the differences of gasoline and diesel and how it burns and how it doesn't. All I know it does burn uh, different, but I just don't know how it burns different. So. But yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing, just driving straight along. because I have like no service now I do have Sprint so Sprint's not the uh, greatest service to have <laughs> but I'm in the middle of nowhere um, there's like rolling hills and stuff like that I'm somewhere in Kansas like, I don't know where I'm at I'm drinking out of 
gallon gallon of water by the way. She's probably gonna have this whole thing drink for the entire day. I'm normally uh I normally consume uh between five to six gallons of water, which you might be like, whoa. But yeah, I do consume uh usually between five to six gallons of water uh per day. But because I'm on the road, I'm being less active. Uh, active um, you know the only activity I'm getting is at the end of the day or whenever I get to the gym uh, every day that's the only activity I'm getting uh, on the road right now so my body's not used to that by the way my body has all this energy and I don't know what to do like it has the energy but I'm kind of tired at the same time mentally because I'm driving I'm looking at the same thing it's kind of tiring uh, especially traveling this much, you know, per per day. Like I said, I'm gonna be on the road for total like ten hours today, so at least I'm supposed to. And then hopefully I make it to Denver, Colorado. I can go to Gold's gym there. And once I have service, I'll hit up my friend that I know who lives in uh, Denver, Colorado, and see if he's around to do anything tonight or whatnot, because I'm going to be, uh, if I make it to Denver, Colorado by tonight, I'm going to be staying there, and then tomorrow I'll be taking off, um, pretty much going straight through Utah, um, by the way, I'm just eating hummus and cared for right now, but, um, oh yeah, I have that dressing in there, could do some dressing, carrots, but, vegan dressing, but, yeah, I saying tomorrow, I'm planning on just driving pretty much in deep, through the entire state of Utah, because it doesn't really seem like there's anything I want to see there, um, there is this one thing I might take a look at, and it's actually right off of Route 70. Um, going straight through and that's actually the end of Utah going into Nevada. I think it is So I mean because it's at the end and it's right off around 70 I'm probably gonna pull off go to it and visit. It's like a Bunch of sculptures. I forget what it is. It's like uh, Rocks and stuff you can actually drive under the one rock. So it's not that big of a deal you know, I kind of just want to go out and see it, though, and say, hey, I stopped in Utah, and I seen this, and I seen that, you know what I mean, um, but then I'm going to hit Nevada, and I might go down to Arizona first, uh, to see the, um, Grand Canyon, and then shoot back up to Nevada, and I definitely want to go to Las Vegas to ride a couple of uh, those cool rides and stuff, like the Skyscraper and whatever it's called. I love heights um, of course I don't drink alcohol by my choosing I just don't drink at all never did I don't really plan on ever uh, nothing really behind it I just don't feel like it so that's a cool uh, background about me so I'm not going to Las Vegas to do any of that not a big gambler never actually did gamble uh, well I can't say that I um, did like do like lottery tickets but I didn't I never spent my own money on lottery tickets I should say like I got lottery tickets for uh, presents and stuff like for Christmas or uh, for birthday but I never spent my own money on it so now I don't really gamble at all so I don't I'm not going there for that just going there to be a kid again and ride a couple rides and also I'm thinking about checking out area 51 the tourist area of course you can't go inside area 51 um, yeah, actually, I think it's most of it's underground anyways, but, um, yeah, you can't go in, but there are things set up and stuff like that around the area that you can tour and everything, and then from there, it's pretty much straight to Los, uh, Los Angeles, California, which is where this trip, one, ends, but two, kind of begins at the same time, because like I said already, I plan on doing a lot in Los Angeles, California, plan uh, planning on meeting a lot of wonderful people. I'm planning on actually, I don't think I'm going to do daily vlogs and stuff like that out there, but I am planning on uh, doing more videos and 
being a, more centered around entertainment and stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully that works. But anyways, I'm going to eat a little bit, go to the bathroom at the rest stop, and pretty much it. I don't think I'm going to tour this area that much like I haven't been. If I turn down the aperture here, it's kind of just like a, a little cheap little spot right there where the bathrooms and stuff are at and then yeah after that it's just pretty much rolling heels <laughs> um, being, I was seeing a lot of uh, whoa you guys can't see me there there I am um, there has been like a lot of wild animals and stuff which I'm loving uh, to go by and see it's freaking awesome but uh, yeah I'm gonna uh, finish up eating actually just dip this carrot in in the hummus like a couple minutes ago that I kept talking. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, sun is in my eyes by the way. Um, this is getting a little tiring. It's fun. It was fun at the beginning. It still is fun of course. But uh, it, all it is is freaking land. I feel like if you go straight you got nothing. If you go right you got nothing. If you go left you got nothing. Like literally it's land and land and land upon land trust me i love land i hope to one day actually have a good amount of land to my own so cool love it you know what i mean like yo like there's so much just nothing like all there is of course is rest stops and gas stations that are really old like old-fashioned gas stations you I've seen like one or two different uh, corporate type uh, gas stations if you will I don't even know if they're corporate it's just like a new age gas station they're the, one, they're the gas stations I actually stopped at one so you know but uh, other than that there has been nothing other than old-fashioned gas stations rest stops and land upon land and upon land upon like that's all there is it's crazy it's insane <laughs> but I'm pretty sure if I would stay tonight here at a rest stop that I would see stars like crazy and um, it, it kind of makes me want to stay here open. but at the same time I'm pretty sure I'm going to see the same amount of stars that I would see here in Nevada because where I'm going to be staying in Nevada is pretty much no light, no no light pollution, no nothing. It's the desert, so uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm going to be able to see. For some What's people, up, this guys? is a pervasive and persistent oh, part of their reality. Let me turn that real quick. And for most Listen to a uh, TED Talk right now. But uh, I just entered Colorado. Still land for days, still land for days, just saying. Still land for freaking days, but uh, it, it still got Colorado. I think I got like a two hour drive until I hit Denver, Colorado tonight. Um, I don't know, I, I want to go to the gym, so I'm hoping you know I, I can get some more energy back and I can hit the gym up because I gotta go to the gym almost every day. You know that? I gotta get to the gym every day. But uh, yeah, right now I'm just traveling along. As you can see, this is pretty much my little uh, stop right here. What, what? Got everything back there. Is that practically nothing? That's some reason got trees on there. But if I keep driving and keep going and keep going, it's about to open up to what I've been looking at. That's pretty much what I've been looking at. Right and left. Right and left side, nothingness. Front is pretty much nothingness. That's pretty much what it's been like for me. And a couple cars passing me here and there. That's pretty much how I've been. All day long. Just saying. Just saying. This is how you know I've been like on the road a little bit too long and I haven't really talked to anybody or nothing. I start acting a little crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, what? It's because all of this like energy and stuff is bubbling inside of me. I'm like ready to go work out at the gym. Like, 
So mentally, I don't want to work out, but physically and everything, like everything in me, like wants to go. Uh, mentally, uh, I don't know. Like I kind of feel drained, but at the same time, I feel like that energy boost is inside of me, where I want to go to the gym, I want to talk to people, I want to, you know, I want to be in civilization. And I love land, and I love being away from people at points. But I also love people, and I also love talking to people. And I'm really missing that right now. I'm really missing talking to people, going to the gym, all of that. You know what I mean? What's up, guys? I'm so happy right now. I am back in the freaking city. I know I'm yelling right now. It's because I'm so excited. I'm happy 10 hours later. I'm back in the city. It's Denver, Colorado. My first stop, of course, I'm hoping it's going to be Target. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I didn't vlog, uh, kind of due to the fact it was kind of uh, frightening a little bit, kind of still is, my uh, van stalled on me going down the highway a couple times to check engine lights and stuff like that. Came on, so I'm probably, I'm probably, I need to get that actually checked out and see what it is because it was actually stalling on me a couple times on the highway and uh, yeah that was like 52 miles back ago and yeah I need to stop and get that checked out I don't know if I'm going to do that tonight I am going to go to Target real quick pick up a couple of things and then go to my friend's house uh, my friend he has an NBA game he's going to tonight but uh, he should be back at like 11 o'clock or something like that. So we'll see what happens tonight. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. Just got back from Target. Got a couple of bananas, got some hummus, and I also got about eight pounds of propane. Uh, should be good for today and tomorrow at least. So should be going down that. And I'm saying tomorrow, but I'm thinking I'm going to start using the wood stove soon. So, especially in the Rocky Mountains area, I should be able to use the wood stove and stuff like that. And kind of kick that on. So, hopefully that will kick on. But yeah, I just got back from Target. Pretty cool in there. Just like any other Target. Other than this Target was a little different layout and stuff, but that was okay. But... Woo! Sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over. Cold eyes, the same fights, we won't be getting any closer. We're supposed to be young, dumb, and free. Thought that we'd never be mean. Hoping that you'll see what we could be before we throw it all away. And pride's forsaken both of us. Always thought that we would